God bless everybody. God bless you guys in Jesus name. The word is this. If you look, if you're looking for perfection, you're going to miss Jesus. If you're looking for perfection, you're going to miss Jesus. Do you know that if you study the history of revivals and those that God used mightily, like William Branham, A. a. Allen, R.W. Shambach, Jack Cole, Catherine Coleman, Mariah Woodworth Etter, Smith Wigglesworth, Charles Finney, Parnum, F.F. F. Bosworth, and so many others. Daniel Nash, Praying Hyde, um, Jonathan Edwards, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, and so many more. Amy Simple McPherson. They were flawed. They were flawed. Azusa Street, William Seymour. They were flawed individuals. They weren't perfect by, by no means. Not that they were living in sin or, or living crazy in any type of way. They were going after the Lord with everything that they knew and how to do to the best of their ability. The same way that God's hand is upon many of those that are going to be the end time revivalists upon the land that he is going to use mightily with miracle signs and wonders following the preaching and the teaching of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom. For many will know, especially the sinners, that will see the miraculous power of God moving with and upon those that God has sent and chosen for such a time as this. So if you're looking for perfection, you're going to find it based upon your perspective in your own selective reality. But the true ones that carry the fire of the Lord will not fit your guidelines of what it is and how it is you perceive them to be. There are many under the sound of my voice whose God his hand is upon mightily. And they haven't seen nothing yet. And what God is about to do and how he's about to pour out his spirit through the lives of those that are laid down, laid down lovers for Jesus Christ, that are submitted to the Lordship of Christ, and they're faithful, pure in heart. They're flawed. They're broken. They've been hurt. They've gone through some battles. They have many scars. They've had failure in so many areas in their life. But God said, these are the ones you don't get to you don't get to say who it is they are you don't get to disqualify god has chosen god has called god qualifies those in whom he chooses to use and the fire is burning in the belly of the revi of the revivalists that are soon to come upon the land they're here they're being prepared and made ready for the great outpouring of the end time harvest where souls, souls, souls will call upon the name of Jesus like you wouldn't believe. In the midst of the falling away, many will be saved and come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost and the burning fire. True ones marked by the hand of God as he backs them as they preach and teach his word. So if you're looking for perfection, you're not going to find it here. You won't find it in me. And you're not going to find it in them, neither. We are what you would call the misfits. Like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The island of the misfits. But they were created for such a time as this. Where God's hand is upon them undoubtedly. You can't deny. Neither can all the souls that are coming to Jesus Christ. Because of the sent ones. Being placed upon and sent forth upon the land. To gather 
the end time harvest for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's making and preparing his bride. Beautiful, spotless, pure as can be. Without blemish, they're being made ready. They are the laid down lovers who repented and turned from which they have fallen and they came back to first love who is Christ the very one that saved their life redeemed their life healed their life restored their life and the power of God had transformed them saved them and set them free watch and see saints of God you're going to see the ministry of reconciliation come upon ministries that you would have thought would have never joined together to collaborate but connect by heaven above for God's agenda because it's all about his sheep not our agenda our purpose and our motive but for the glory of God in Christ Jesus the end time army and harvest is ready the laborers are few it's time to go after the lost sheep I pray this word encourages and blesses many of you there's many people that are called and chosen that you would have never called that you would have never picked that you would have never thought that God's hand was going to be upon but you're going to see in the days to come many being raised up in this very moment day and hour and God is going to back them all the way through and if you come against them as I said God's hand is upon them you come against them God's hand will be upon you so be very careful of how it is you speak about the move of God of how it is and who it is he chooses to use because it's not about you it never has been about you it's not about your denomination. It's not about your church. It's not about your flow or your style. It's all about Jesus Christ and him crucified and winning souls and getting and getting the hell out of people and putting the Christ within. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Only the love of Christ and the power of his love can transform you from the inside out everything else is dead men's bones religion thinking you can strive your way and think your way to transformation and salvation which can only be founded in and upon and through faith in the beloved Jesus Christ he's coming again and he's coming soon he is coming ready or not but before he comes, the preachers of righteousness that God's hand is in and upon, oh, they're being raised up even now as I speak. Y'all be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name. Oh, it ain't over till it's over. Watch and see what God's about to do. God is about to show up and show out. God is about to move mightily like you wouldn't believe. God is about to breathe upon the revivalists in the last days. And these revivalists are unapologetic and they will stand for Jesus. They're going to confront the elephants in the room and they're going to preach the gospel of the living Christ. And they're going to go out blazing and winning and winning and plucking out many souls from the kingdom of darkness and bring them into the marvelous light that we all have taste and seen and experience within ourselves y'all be blessed in jesus name the revivalists are here the revivalists are now the revivalists are coming you can't stop it you can't stop them god shall and will prevail in jesus name without fail be blessed